Hi guys, this is Anne. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to trade the order block alert, how to snipe it on the lower time frames, and number three, I'm gonna give you ideas how to find your trading confluence. If you are very new to the order block trading strategy, I would suggest you to visit our YouTube channel here, Star Setup X. I have created a complete guide, the order block trading strategy simplified. Based on my opinion, the order block trading strategy is one of the best trading strategy out there. I do not invent this strategy, I only make it simple. A lot of people make this strategy too complicated, so I hope my guide will help you understand better how the strategy works. Since you are already here, let me show you a quick overview how I trade the order block. Basically what I do, I just put a swing high, swing low, and then I wait for the break of structure. Either it breaks the swing high or breaks the swing low. In this case, it breaks the swing low. So here is the break of structure. Since it breaks below or the swing low, your order block is the last bullish candle before the breakout happened. On the contrary, if the price breaks above or the swing high, your order block is the last bearish candle before the breakout happens. So that is how the order blocks looks like. In this example, the price respect the order block before it continues down. All right, so now let's go back here. How to trade the order blocks alert. You may be wondering, and what is the order block alert? Well, basically this is for our community website. So my husband and I, we have an order block traders community. If you want to join, you can find the link in the description. Basically what we do is we mark the order block on forex pairs, gold indices, and also cryptocurrencies. In total, there are about 40 assets starting from H4, daily, weekly, and monthly. And this is how it works. So we mark our order block on our chart manually, like this one two days ago. Today is Sunday when I make this video. So this is on Friday. We mark this swing high, swing low, break of structure, and then the price respect the order block. The moment the price hit the order block, the robot take a screenshot and send it to you via email, via an app, and also post it in our website. So in this video, I'm going to guide you how to take advantage of our order block. Now, let's say you received this order block from us in the last two days. Let's remake this order block, okay? Let's open its Canadian yen. This one, right? It's H4. Let me take a look again. Okay, so this is the swing high and here is the swing low and this is the break of structure and the order block is the last bullish candle before the breakout happened and it was respected and obviously when you receive the order block from us you didn't see this red candle right because it appears like this the moment the price hit the order block you got the alert from us this is because it's already happened and it respect our order block and go down on our way so what you do when you receive this particular order block, you have two options. You want to trade it directly or you want to snipe it. If you want to trade it directly, what you have to do, you want to measure the probability or the risk reward this particular order block gives you. Now, the first thing you do is you mark the last low. Here is the last low, right? So this is your take profit target. Once you receive the order block, if it is a sell order block, you want to look left. In this case, this is the left side, right from here. You want to look left. Where is the last low? So this is your last low, and this is your take profit target. Let me make this big. Now, let's say you want to take the whole candle. When the price hit the order block, and this is your entry level, okay, what is the risk reward to the take profit entry? Here, it gives you about one to five. If it is less than one to five, I always suggest skip it. You do not want to take a trade if it gives you less than one to five. You only want to take a trade if it gives you at least or minimum one to five. In this case, it gives you one to five. You can enter directly. Your entry is here, your stop loss is here. 
and if you want to get a maximum reward once you receive the order block from us you know the moment it touch here let me come back here the moment it hit our order block you can put a pending order at 50 percent of the order block right so it gives you more reward look instead of one to five it gives you probably one to eleven let's say one to ten okay but placing on fifty percent it doesn't always work but it gives you higher reward in this case the last two days if you put it on 50 percent you would have made one to eleven just from this one trade okay so this is one way how to use our order block alert again when you receive the order block alert from us what you have to do you want to take a look whether you agree with the market structure or not if you feel comfortable with it then you can enter if you do not feel comfortable with it you can skip it because every day you will receive at least five oftentimes more than ten in a day and as you can see just one order block can give you one to five one to ten you do not need to trade every single order block and obviously not every single order block will work so far our order block winning rate is between 50 to 70 percent so but you can imagine even with only 50 percent of the winning rate if you aim just one to five so five times five is 25 let's say you risk one percent five times five is 25 and you lose five five percent so 25 minus five you still make 20 percent if you risk one percent for the sake of example now this is the first choice if you want to trade it directly or you want to snipe it but so many members they like to snipe it meaning when you receive the order block alert from h4 you want to trade it on m15 m5 or even lower on m1 there are some people who even trade it on seconds here on mt4 the lowest is m1 minutes chart but it's up to you okay let's see another example okay this is euro canadian you also received it on friday let's remake it again hold on i said this one is euro canadian is it all right let's make it again i also did not trade this one but let's see how it works okay let me see all right so here is our swing high and this is our swing low and here it breaks above so our order block is the last bearish candle before the breakout happen all right so here's our order block you see how amazing the order block is sometimes it's just pouch and then going up it doesn't reach 50 percent hold on a second here right look take a look the moment it hit the order block our robot take a screenshot and let you know there is a new alert and then what happened it just directly go up again only touching this one and then directly go up again so like I said if you for example decided to even buy directly you may not have a chance right and if you put 50% it didn't work well it's okay because remember you have a lot of chances again to be successful in trading and especially when you use our order block alert you do not need to trade so many alert just trade whenever you have time i personally just trade three pairs maximum running at the same times and i trade just about anything major pairs or minor pairs it doesn't matter so if i feel comfortable with the market structure i would just buy it and here if i take a look at this i may put at 50 percent for example but in this case the 50 percent it doesn't work right so once you get the alert what you want to do you want to put your last high the last high when this candle hit this is the last high right this is the first take profit target this is the second take profit target and probably will continue but this is the first one this is your first take profit target and it also directly hit by the second candle on h4 in this case you probably will miss it if you put it at 50 percent but we will see what happened when you go to lower time frame okay and also this one now 
before we continue to see a trade breakdown on the lower time frame for this pair let's go back here first how to snipe on lower time frame let me change this let me make it clear so I can explain something now here's the key for every single order block we always put the type of order block I mean like this is buy order block meaning when the price hit our order block you will then want to looking for buy opportunity all right and then here on Canadian yen we have a sell order block meaning once you receive this order block alert you will want to looking for the sell opportunity it depends on the order block type here if it is sell order block then you want to looking for sell all right guys I'm back I'm so sorry that I had to stop earlier there are some people outside talking and I can't control it I have been living in the resort since the pandemic happened basically uh, to avoid the pandemic but right now it's a peak season and there are lots of tourists here in the resort especially coming from the Europe probably they avoid the cold winter in there so here in Egypt even though it's winter but it is not really that cold just windy so anyway I apologize if you hear a lot of noise from the, from the background because it's a resort you know it's like a tourist area all right so let's continue number two how to snipe the order block alert in the lower time frame now before I show it to you the kind of patterns when you want to snipe the order block on the lower time frame I want to show it to you something when it comes to market we knows that there are only what should I call it type let's just call it type okay to make it simple so there are only two types right high and low if the price breaks the high there is possibility the market to go higher if the price breaks the low there are possibilities the markets to go lower a lot of people often complicate so many things not that I against them but sometimes it's just confusing to me personally all right so few weeks ago quite a few people came to me and asked me to make a video about uh, what was the term again uh, change change of character yeah I think this one right so people ask me about this chalk ch change of character so when I asked my husband he has been trading for over 12 years do you know what is this in trading and and he asked me like what the hell is that and you know basically this is just reversal but people keep finding a new terms that sometimes confuse a lot of people including myself well people ask me to create a video let me just show it to you what is this change character okay let's say the market is in a downtrend like this and then suddenly it reverses. so first it breaks below it breaks below and here suddenly it breaks above this is the change of character so it is reversal okay so those who wants to know about this change of character this is just reversal from going a downtrend to an uptrend that's it all right but again when it comes to the market we only know two things here two types whatever you want to call there is high there is low right here this one is probably a sideway but this is high this is high this is high low 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 now all we need to know where the market is heading whether the price breaks the high or the low that's it okay so now let's continue to the snipe pattern let me remove all this so let's say you receive a buy order block for me let's draw this a giant order block because this is probably a daily order block or h4 order block whatever okay so this is from higher time frame order block let's say this is d1 ob and then you go to m15 or lower so the price come to the order block of daily order block and here you receive an alert from us right remember this is buy order block so the price probably come back here and then here and then here here's the key when you receive a buy order block from us you pay attention at the high 
you want to wait the high to be broken by the price as long as the price breaking the low you do nothing now when the price start breaking the high in this case let's say this one so this is the first break of structure once there is the break of structure like this you can put an order block right away but there is also possibilities it breaks above but maybe the price can come back lower that's also possible the idea here when you get the buy or the block remember you want to looking for the highs broken by the price okay so here ideally this is a lower low create a higher high this is a lower high this is a lower high and then the price is broken and create a higher high from a lower low you can start marking your order block or you want to wait for the second break of structure because this is the first one maybe you want to wait even if it is like that there this is the second one even though it doesn't break this one you just want to wait to break of structure then you know the price will start to reverse all right i'm not saying the exact thing gonna happen because anything can happen to the market if something happened could be like like that also right but we are talking about high probability trade so that's what you are looking for when you want to snipe you want to wait the highs of the lower time frame of your choice to be broken by the price sometimes the price can go lower of the order block I highly recommend you only want to trade within the order block itself that usually give you the best trade when it comes to reversal okay so probably starting doing like that all right here is the break above starting so the market has a high probability to start reversing if you want to be more careful you just want to wait for the second breakout here there are also possibility that if you wait for the second break out like this that you miss the train and nothing happened so you didn't get this trade and then the market just continue like that so if that happened it doesn't matter remember there are still a lot of opportunities you get a lot of alerts from us but this is what you want to looking for for the buy or the block okay now let's take a look what is the buy or the block look like was we'll it at euro canadian let's remove that now here when the price hit the auto block you receive the alert from us and then you mark the last high in this case this one when the price hit here right this is the first one the second one so you can aim the last high this is your take profit target and let's say you go to m15 what i usually do guys if it is from h4 i look between m15 and m5 so it's up to you if you want to trade it on m1 again it's too fast for me so i usually just trade on m15 or on m5 let's say what happened if you want to trade it here on m5 look so here like i said we want to wait until there is breaks above you really need to practice you need a chart time maybe you think this is the first break above right to me this is the first break above so this candle become our order block here is your stop loss probably your stop loss is here if your trade is over here let me just make it clear okay for this one i'm not gonna use a drawing tool so this is your order block right so that is your order block because this is the first break of structure if you are a high risk trader you can put your pending order on this order block all right either 50 percent or all for example like this the whole candle let's say you put it the whole candle and here it reached the take profit exactly one to ten this is the last order block last friday if you enter it like that okay now if you are super careful trader right so here is the first break above remember that the price coming here and this is first break above and here is the second break above in this case this is your 
order block, right? This is your second order block, but it doesn't hit. Bye bye. And here is another one over here. It also doesn't hit. Bye bye. But here is the first one is being hit by the order block. First break above. Come back, take the order block, and and goes it ways. All right. Now let's take a look what happened on M15. Let's clean this up first. Okay, so we are not confused because this is from M5. Now let's take a look here. I would consider this as the first break above. Look here, break above. Let's let me make it big. This one, you see, it breaks above. So this candle, the red candle, your order block. I call it something like this as hidden order blocks. So I take it candle by candle like this. So this one is also hit. Let's say you are taking on the, uh, hold on a second, is this, ah, uh, I do not want to confuse. So this is basically second take profit target, but we are taking the first take profit target. So if you are taking it from M15, so here, let's say you're taking the whole candle again if you are taking 50 percent it doesn't hit you miss the train but if you are putting it the whole candle i always put it at the 50 percent guys so if i were in this trade i would miss it because i usually put it on the 50 percent like this you see it doesn't hit so i would miss this trade and if you put it on the whole candle like this on the order block instead of getting one two ten like on m5 you get about one to six well it's still it's still good now let's see what happened if you take it from m1 okay i barely trade on m1 so this is like a little bit too fast for me but i, I will remind you something the lower the time frame usually the more loses you get but the higher the reward you can get let's say we already know this is our take profit target, all right? So here, the price hit this for the first time, right? It hit just a little bit and then go directly up. And remember, when it is a buy order block, you want to see high to be broken, right? So now, here is the first break above. You see, even though this is just a week, you will want to consider this as a, a break above. But it's up to you. You also can just focus with the body when it comes to break above. But in this instance, this is the order block and it hit a stop loss. You see that this is already a stop loss, the first one. And then here, let me check it. All right. So here, that is... Ah, uh, it's not really clear to me. Hold on a second, because I want it to be perfectly correct. Whether that was... It's just a matter of choice, guys. Look, something like this is up to you whether you want to consider this as your order block or this one. To me, it is slightly above, you know, for the order block, so I would choose this one. So this is my order block. And also, if there is weak on the right side here, this is swing high, swing low, break of structure because it breaks above. Your order block is the last bearish candle here, but I would make it like this. So this is the whole order block. I would include this week, especially this is on M1. All right. Now hit by this price, this candle. Look, this is already the first breaks above and this is the second. So we know that there is high prob probability that the market could go higher. So let's say you enter from m1 let's see oh where is it you got about 115 you can keep entering what we call it scale in when it is possible okay what is a scale in mean so every time there is break above you want to mark your order block but it is not always necessarily work but that you can do which i always do so sometimes when the market is very good like this and you probably can find another order block let's say this one okay look here you may want to consider it as an order block this one or even this but this one doesn't doesn't work here maybe you want to consider this as the order block right like this one because this is a very small swing high swing low and this is the order block now if you take this hold on a second so yeah it hit by the price and let's see if you take this for example 
you take 1 to 30 and this one is 1 to how many is the first one the first one give you 1 to 15 the second one give you 1 to 30 let's say you just take two okay I usually scale in maximum three so this is what I usually do if I want to scale in and let's say I want to take this one I will make sure the first one is already break even in this case if I want to take it I will put the stop loss into break even so in case this hit a stop loss it won't double stop loss you know if the market goes against me so if you want to take the third one make sure the second one also already put into break even all right so in just one alert like this when you snipe you see how much you can get the risk reward ratio if for example this is not something that i recommend i usually recommend to risk no more than half percent okay just for easy calculation if you risk one percent per trade this is 30 percent plus 15 percent so in just one trade in just a few hours you get about 45 percent return all right so this is how wonderful the order block is so again i want to show it to you if you receive the order block alert from us and it is a buy order block all right what you want to do where the hell was drawing okay sorry I will just draw it again quick so this is a higher time frame order block what you want to do the moment the price hit the order block you go to a lower time frame of your choice since this is a buy order block you want the high to be broken you wait the high to be broken now if you see the first high to be broken then you can get ready or you can mark your order block and again your take profit target is the last high of this particular order block from higher time frame all right now if it is for sale let's just clear this one if it is a sale order block like canadian yen so this is from h4 and you go to m5 for example so the price hit here now you got the alert and this is the look from m5 for example now since this is a sell order block you want to wait the low to be broken all right so here there if it is broken then you can start marking your order block or you can wait the second break below but you know sometimes if you put this sometimes you miss the chance but again it's up to you when you take a look at the probability trade like how much return that it can give you for one trade like 1 to 10 1 to 20 1 to 30 you can actually just risk for the first break below over here but again it's up to you so what my husband is always doing he usually wait for the second break below that's why he always missed the train you know like ah he didn't get it but to him it's okay because there are a lot of alert to come while me i personally i like to trade it the first one so if this is a higher high this is a higher high and the move creates a lower low well i'm not gonna confuse you so if it is a sell or the block alert from us you just want to focus to wait the low to be broken if it is buy or the block you want to wait the high to be broken it is that simple okay all right so now let's continue to the next one how to find your trading confluence you see when you are very new to trading like finding the first break out the first break of structure sometimes can be very confusing this is need like chart time you know you need to spend more and more time to be able to spot the hidden order block you need charts time so you need to keep practicing but for those who are very new sometimes they ask me i always miss w what did i miss because sometimes people are making a lot of money like what i show it to you like this can make one to 30 one to 15 but i always miss how to fix that all right so you already know first thing you need to spend more time looking at the chart finding where is break above okay in this case this is by order block so you want to looking for break above 
especially for beginners, it can be difficult to decide whether it is already break above or not. You know, it can be very confusing. So I want to give you ideas for you to be able to enter. This is just an idea. It doesn't mean I'm leading you to another strategy because this is not a strategy. What I'm going to share with you, it's an entry strategy. Maybe you are still confused to looking for the break above or the break structure for buy order block or break below for the sell order block. So if you're still confused about that, but you want to make money from our alert, all right? So here's what you can do. You can use any indicator that make you feel comfortable. I'm going to give you an example. So this is Euro Canadian, right? So the price hit here, you get the alert from us. You go to M5, for example. Now, if you do not want to be confused, if the market is already breaks above or when to buy. So you simply can use, let's say one example is Heiken Ashi, for example. So here with the Heiken Ashi, let's take a look. When it hit the price and then there is blue, you can start buying from here. Now there, this is just an example. This is not following the order block because what my husband and I do, we trade based on the order block and our entry also based on the order block. But what you also can do, the strategy, the entry point around here is based on the order block zone, but entry can be just about anything. It could be Heiken Ashi, it could be stochastic, it could be moving average, whatever you choose. I'm just giving you an example. If you are confused, so the price reach our order block here. Let's say you put the Heiken Ashi. So here, let me give you an arrow. So this is when the first time price change, right? Become blue. So here, let me remove that Heiken Ashi. So this is your entry point. Maybe you want to put your stop loss over here because this is not really order block, right? Just the last low. So here is your entry. All right, look, it gives you one to six. And then you can scale in again if you put another, if you want, you know. So this is this is just suggestion. So for example, there is red and this is another blue or this is another blue. So you can scale in, let's say here. I want to see. All right, right over here. Six plus one to five. So it's one to 11. So you got like 11 percent for example if you risk one percent but that is not something that i suggest in terms of money management okay so here is first you can use the hiken ashi if you want okay and then another thing you some people use stochastic what you can do for example here the price is already oversold and then it already crossed so basically where is it is oh hold on a second so basically if you take a look the stochastic is crossing over here right so this is your entry so this candle is your entry if you use stochastic then this is your entry then you take about 1 to 11 I guess right about 1 to 11 and then here coming back again crossing again if you want to enter again as long as it still give you 1 to 5 so you can you still can take it if this one is another entry again so you with the stochastic you can make like 17 uh, reward while with the Heiken Ashi you can get like 11 rewards so really it's up to you all right for the entry point remember this is not stochastic strategy or Heiken Ashi strategy this is just giving you the idea if you're still confused on how to trade our alert. Once the price hit the order block and you receive the alert from us, so you can use just any indicator that make you feel comfortable. The idea is as long as you make money, right? So you do not have to be always precise. The entry should also be order block. Heck, you just want to make money. So whatever that makes money, we already give you the zone you receive the alert from us that we picked up manually and you know that our alert so far has a high probability trade so you can pick it up and you can use any indicator you want for you to enter as long as you make money right this is just an easy 
trading confluence this is just an easy ideas for me for you to be able uh, to enter a trade whenever you receive an alert from us now let's take a look for canadian yen let's say you receive here right on friday you receive an alert from us and the moment the price hit the order block you go let's say to m5 directly let's see what happened and if you use Heiken Ashi again, for example, let's see. Let's just deal. Oh, hold on a second. So this is the first red, right? This is on M5. And this is your entry. So you remove the Heiken Ashi. So here, if you want to put exactly that on the candle itself, because it's the first candle that becomes red from Heiken Ashi on M5, Oh, let's see where is your take profit target okay let me make it longer so this is your take profit target always draw your take profit target over here okay the last low if it is sell order block and then you go back to m5 look you got one to 50 just from one trade on m5 and it takes only a few hours just by using Heiken Ashi you see if you are using the order block in this case right so here is the first break below to me so this is the order block it doesn't hit right and then here is the second break below and this is the order block right the last bullish candle before the breakout happened so this is the order block which is hit on m5 now let's take a look if you take it the whole candle it gives you 1 to 10 if you enter based on the order block again but then if you use the Heiken Ashi in this example, you want to take it the simple, stupid one. Well, not really stupid. The keep it simple entry. So you got the alert from us on H4 and it hit. You receive the alert from here and you apply the Heiken Ashi, right? And then here, the moment it's become red, so this is your entry. If you want to get a high risk reward, obviously you just want to put exactly at the top like that or if you want to be conservative probably your stop loss could be at the top it doesn't matter it's up to you so if you put it there so you take you get about 1 to 12 i guess but if you put it exactly at that you see you got exactly 1 to 50 that 50 percent if you risk one percent so I hope that you know how to use our alert right now and take advantage of it. And here, let's see if you are using stochastic here right now. All right. So you can check all our alert in the past and see if it is working for you. I do not guarantee everything will always make 1 to 50, 1 to 30. If you traded our alert from H4 and D1 and go to M15 or M5, you are most likely can get this kind of trade you know 1 to 5 1 to 10 1 to 30 something like that so even though our alert has a winning rate of 50 to 70 percent i'm sure you will end up positive by the end of the month if you just follow the strategy like this and again that all of our alert are picked up manually so you can learn for example for the past one week and just check it all right and you can use any other indicator you want and see how it works if it makes money why not right so all you have to do you just wait the alert from us so you do not over trade you follow a clear rule once you get the alert and you have time you sit down in front of the computer if you want to choose Heiken Ashi use Heiken Ashi if you want to use for example moving average uh, hold on a second what is the moving average people usually use? Why is this five? Okay, let's just put five. Let's say for example here, you just put five for example. This is just an example, okay? I'm not saying you have to make it five. So you can put it nine, 12, 20, whatever. But here it reached the order block from H4 and then it closed below the moving average. Then maybe this is your entry, right? And 
you can scale in and then how you can scale in if you're using the moving average probably here and then blue blue red this is another entry and then here blue blue red this is another entry blue blue red this is another entry that is if you're using moving average so it's really up to you but again you do not want to complicate yourself for example you are combining moving average and stochastic and then Heiken Ashi it has to be like this has to be like that no don't do that it will be confusing just make it one simple step sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't including the auto block sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but if your aiming is always over 1 to 10 regardless how many loses that you got you will always end up positive and you really got to make sure that you are using the right money management if you are using like our tool like this it could be easy like what you have to do just click for example pending sell over here or right now here or sell directly you know and then put for example the take profit is always your take profit target here when it reach one to five move to break even and imagine that if you scale in this one and then this one and then this one and you collect it all let's just see for example this is your entry okay this is not cherry picking guys this is the alert that you received from us last Friday and if you trade it this way this is just an example if you trade it this way look let's say you make it 1 to 15 you closed it at 1 to 15 okay and then here you make it 1 to 5 1 to 4 so you already got 1 to 19 and then here this is another 1 to 10 so 1 to almost 1 to 30 so I just want to give you the ideas, the confluence, so you are not confused because some people keep asking me, what did I miss when I got the alert from you that I always hit a stop loss? So maybe try this one. So when you see some positive into your account, then maybe you can learn more or having chart time, you know, so you spend more time to understand how to break down like what I show it to you in this video this could be like very long video but it's okay so you see if it is buy you wait for the break above break above but then if it is too confusing for you heck just keep it simple use Heiken Ashi or moving average it doesn't matter because it works it makes money all right so guys I guess that is all for now I'm so sorry if this video is too long but I hope you learn a lot from here so you know how to trade the order blocks alert and if you want to join to get our order block alert you just can click the link in the description all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please be safe because right now Megatron is everywhere. I mean Omicron. So please be safe and take care. Bye-bye.